Being a parent is the greatest blessing on earth. For parents, a child is like their heart beating outside of their bodies. Rearing kids as good, kind, ethical and responsible human beings is the toughest job anyone can embark on. And yet, parents thank God every day for giving them this opportunity. For parents, nothing is more pleasing than watching their child grow and nothing is more painful than the pangs they feel when their child is hurt. Parents are always with their children through laughter, tears, prayers and blessings. Their arms are always open when a child needs a hug. Their hearts understand when a child needs a friend. Their strength and love guide the children and give them wings to fly. If children are angels, parents are the gods on earth. The theme of ABU Robocon 2014 Pune India is a salute to parenthood. The game will be played on a field spread over an area of 12 meters by 12 meters, surrounded by a 50 millimeter high and 30 millimeter wide wooden fence. The game field has two parent zones, one for the red team and one for the blue team. The game field has two start zones, one meter by one meter each. In the game field, there are five child zones, two seesaw child zones, a swing child zone, a pole walk child zone, and the jungle gym child zone. The game field has separate seesaw child zones for each team. The remaining zones are common. However, game activities are provided separately. Each of the seesaw child zones, pole walk child zone and swing child zone is 2.5 meters in diameter. The jungle gym child zone is 3 meters in diameter. The first game activity is the seesaw game. It starts with a parent robot carrying a pre-loaded child robot right from the start zone to the seesaw child zone. The parent robot places the child robot on the seesaw seat and goes to the other side. It plays for three continuous laps and reloads the child robot upon itself. On completing this task, the team gets 10 points. As a second task, a team may attempt the swing game or the pole walk game as per their strategy. In the pole walk game, the parent robot places the child robot on the first walking disc and the child robot moves from one disc to the other in a sequence without skipping any of them to reach the last disc. The parent robot then reloads the child robot upon itself. On completing this task, the team gets 20 points. The remaining game activity out of the pole walk or the swing will be the third task. In the swing game, the parent robot places the child robot on the seat and pushes the child robot for the first lap. The child robot then has to complete the remaining two laps on its own. Remember, a lap is counted as complete only when any part of the child robot touches the flag which is kept in front of the swing. The parent robot has to reload the child robot upon itself. On completing this third task, the team gets 50 points. A team is eligible to play the fourth game activity, which is Jungle Gym, only after completion of the second and third task. In the Jungle Gym game, the parent robot places the child robot on or near the first step of the ladder. The child robot then has to climb the ladder to reach the top platform 
without touching the side rails. On reaching the top platform of the jungle gym, the child robot has to raise a pre-loaded flag above its topmost point. This completes task 4. The team which first completes this task within 3 minutes accomplishes Shabash, the appreciation. It is declared the winner of the game and the game ends. If none of the teams are able to complete the winning task, the winner will be decided on the points earned by the team. To earn additional points, a team may attempt the first game a maximum of three times and the second and third games a maximum of two times each.